So then guys, with the new MacBook Pros here with the M4 family inside of them, a lot of you guys are wondering if you own a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro right now, should you consider upgrading? Well, the great news is I've created this chart that you can see right here and it lists all of the sort of MacBook Pros that we've had in sort of recent years and some from donkeys ago too. And with this video today, I'm hoping to help you guys out in choosing to see if you should be upgrading or not by doing a priority sort of chart. So again, looking right here, you can see that I've got a five, four, three, two, one. And really what it means is if you're a five, you shouldn't really be considering upgrading anytime soon. And if you're a one, well, it's top priority to be upgrading and actually consider doing this. Now, a couple of things that I will also just throw in there. Obviously, this is just my own opinion here. You don't have to do this. If you're happy with your MacBook right now, stick with it. But, you know, it's just giving my own honest opinion here what I would do, you know, if you came to me and said, should I be upgrading or not? This is what I'm basically put into this chart. The other thing as well is obviously I've not put in here like the Mac Mini, the Mac Studio or the iMac. You know, I've not done that. I'm literally sticking about MacBooks here. And also, you know, if you've got a Windows machine, yeah, that's just really really tricky to kind of work out exactly what you need to have because obviously you know you're not really the same type of family and things like this and then obviously we start going to gaming and all of this sort of bits and pieces and other type of creativity yeah so I'm just not going to go there with that today so we're just going to be sticking with the MacBooks and first of all let's get started then with the oldest sort of MacBooks out there this is kind of any MacBook that exists from 2017 and older and first of all, let's have a look at the 2017 MacBook Air. So like I said, this is an Intel MacBook. And what I would be saying is that this is a really, really old device now. Apple don't really support anything, you know, pre-2017 apart from, you know, like the iMac sort of pro, but that's story for another day. But let's put this somewhere on the chart then. So obviously, as you can imagine, I'm saying that if you've still got this machine and it's still working for you and you can still use it, probably, you know, you're not looking to do any sort of big pro kind of sort of tasks. Otherwise, you probably would have upgraded by now, potentially. So what I would say is this is the top priority and what you should be looking to get is probably one of the new MacBook Air M3 models, especially that they come with 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's the base amount of RAM inside of it. So this is what I'd be considering getting right now. This is a top priority because like I said, you're not getting all the latest sort of Mac OS updates, not really any security updates, and a lot of software out there will stop supporting, you know, these versions, these older versions of Mac OS. So I'd prioritize in really getting yourself updated as soon as possible. And then over to the actual MacBook Pros, it's the same sort of thing. Personally, I would be saying that it's a top priority again, but really what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the middle here between the MacBook Air M3 and also the MacBook Pro M4 because there are some really powerful MacBook Pros out there in 2017 and I would say that some of you guys are probably still even using them for Pro Tools but even if you went for the M4 MacBook Pro 14 inch model this is going to be more than enough or maybe you've been ha given a handy down you know sort of MacBook Pro and you're using it just for sort of basic sort of word editing going to university college this sort of thing then obviously you'd be probably more sitting more towards sort of the MacBook Air kind of area with the M3 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So that's why I'm going to stick it in the middle there. But next of all, let's look at all the Intel MacBooks between say 2017 and 2020. And obviously some of these are still supported today, but I would still be saying that these are a priority to get updated. So starting out with the MacBook Air that we have then, this was the kind of design that we had, I think introduced in 2018, if I remember. I would be saying, obviously this is still a great machine, but I would be looking towards probably putting it around about here I would say it's not the fastest but obviously it still does work but I would be saying that obviously you should be updating it because obviously if you go to an M3 MacBook Air with 16 gigabytes of RAM wow what a big difference you're going to see and obviously you're going to get the latest and greatest sort of Mac OS you're going to get Apple intelligence and things like this so I would be saying you should be looking to upgrading fairly soon with this one if you have a machine this old and then with the actual sort of MacBook Pros what I would say is this is the ones without the dedicated graphics this was like the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the Intel inside of it I'd be saying something very very similar I'd be sticking it right here I'd be saying you should be upgrading to another MacBook Pro again 
again. But obviously, you're going to get all the great things from the M4, better graphics, you're getting Apple intelligence and things like this. So this is what I'd be prioritizing this right now. Then I would be saying, and next of all, for say a larger MacBook Pro has a dedicated graphics, it was just the 16 inch models back then. So I would be saying that you do need to upgrade probably very, very soon, because obviously these machines ran really, really hot with the dedicated graphics and also with the actual Intel chip, the i7 and the i9 inside of it. So I would be updating, and I'd say it depends on your needs really. If you are really doing loads of 8K video editing and things like this, then obviously I'd be saying the M4 Max is the right one for you. If not, what I'd be saying is it's the M4 Pro. So I'm gonna stick it in the middle right here. This is what you should be going for. So it depends on what you're gonna be using it for, kind of the pro kind of abilities. But next of all, let's now look at the M1 family. So this was in 2020 that this started, and this continued on to 2021. So starting out with the M1 MacBook Air. And this is still a great device today. So, you know, where I'm gonna say with this one is that if you are going to be looking to upgrade it, you should be looking to upgrade it to a MacBook Pro. If you're going to be using it the same sort of task that you're using right now with the MacBook Air, and obviously you're not seeing any slowdown or anything like that, maybe it's not worth actually updating. I would be saying if you are looking to upgrade it, it should be sitting in this category right here, the MacBook Pro M4. That's the only sort of thing that you should be upgrading to. If you are happy with it, it's doing everything you need to, don't bother upgrading. This is why it's so low down in the priority list because I don't feel you need to upgrade it for the majority of users and those odd few who do then obviously you'd be sitting probably here this is one not putting in the MacBook Air category because you probably just need that extra power with that performance those ports you know better screen that's why I'd say the MacBook Pro M4 is the better choice and it's the same here with the actual other 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro the last one of the touch bar I'm going to stick it in the middle because again, maybe you want those ports because it lacked them completely, the 13 inch MacBook Pro. So that was really, really bad. But obviously you might want those ports, but you don't really need that much more performance. So this is where I'd say it probably need a MacBook Pro M4. But if you do really need more performance than what you had originally with the M1, and that you need it in a Pro machine, this is why I'd say the MacBook Pro M4 Pro is better for you. And next of all, let's talk about the M1 Pro and obviously the 14 and the 16 inch models that were available. Now, personally, I'm gonna stick it in the middle here. Again, this is my personal opinion here. You probably do not need to upgrade. For literally probably 90% of you guys out there, you do not need to upgrade. M1 Pro is great. Keep with it, it's gonna be great for the majority of you guys. The only case I would say is that obviously if you're just looking for a bit more power, the M4 Pro definitely does provide that over the M1 Pro. We've definitely seen some early sort of benchmark sort of scores and it's really showing it is giving us a great performance upgrade. And the other scenario where I'd say you'd be looking is that maybe the M1 Pro is not enough and you know the M4 Pro you want even a bit more power than what you had before. You've tested it, maybe the kind of company that you're in, maybe you're an amateur photographer, now you're a professional, photographer and you need more power even more then I would be saying that obviously the M4 Max MacBook Pro might be a better choice for you here that's why I'm sticking it right here but then what about the M1 Max well same thing again I'm going to stick it here you're not likely to go down to an M4 Pro or even to say an M4 or anything like this on MacBook Air you're going to be wanting to stick in with the Mac sign of story out there and again I don't think there's really much point in sort of upgrading unless you've got like the lowest bin version version of an M1 Max and you know it's struggling. I haven't really found anyone out there who says that M1 Max is struggling but say you did need that extra bit more RAM because Apple offer this now in the M4 Max and obviously you're looking to do an upgrade this is where I would stick it but personally I wouldn't be updating if you do have an M1 Max. So again like say about probably 95% of you guys out there who own an M1 Max you do not need to upgrade to an M4 Max so I'm sticking it there. But then we're going to move on to the M2 and the M3 family. Now the M2 and the M3 family it's so new. Remember the M2 MacBook Pros, you know, mainly came out, I think it was the beginning of 2023. And then we had the M3 family come out the end of 2023. There's not much really in it whatsoever between both of them. It was like a kind of an upgrade within like eight, nine months or something. I can't remember what it was now exactly. But the point is, there's not much between them. And as you can imagine, they're so, so new, you do not need to upgrade them. The only exception I'm gonna chuck in there is the 
the M2 MacBook Air where you might want to, for example, to upgrade and get yourself maybe a MacBook Pro. So I'm going to stick it here uh, in this sort of category here, if I can fit it in there. There we go. It does fit in there in the M4 category. This is probably the only one that I would say, but I'm sticking it halfway between the line because, you know, at the end of the day, this is again a very niche people. 95% of people they've got an M2 MacBook Air are going to be absolutely fine. This is for the people who are pushing their M2 MacBook Air too much. Maybe, you know, you need a fan inside of it. Maybe that you need a bit more power for your doing 8K video editing. Why did you buy a MacBook Air? Do not know why. But you get your idea. This is where I would say maybe you need to push it into this category. And it's the same here, I'd say, with the other kind of MacBook Pro. I'm going to stick it here next. To it. I'm going to move that across actually a little bit. Let's move this around a little bit, a bit more organized. So there we go. I'm going to say the same thing again with the M2 MacBook Pro. It was still the old design MacBook Pro, it wasn't the best one. And you know, a lot of people complained about that. They hadn't updated it at that time. But again, this is where I'd stick it. Now, I'd say that obviously, if you are looking to get yourself updated, maybe you want the ports, the better screen and things like this. This is what I would do. But the power what you have with inside it is more than enough with the M2 MacBook Pro. But then if we stick onto the M3, free MacBook Pro, I would say no, you do not need to update whatsoever. Sticking it down the bottom here, do not need to upgrade, stick with what you've got. It is great right now. I would not be prioritizing in upgrading whatsoever. And the same here, what this one represents is the M2 Pro and the M3 Pro MacBook Pro out there. I couldn't be bothered to put two, you know, different images together because really they're both, you know where they're gonna sit. They're gonna sit here. They were low priority. M2 Pro and the M3 Pro, no, just don't bother. I would not be upgrading whatsoever with this. And the same with the M2 Max and the M3 Max. There's absolutely no point updating these. Again, sticking them right down in the bottom corner here, no point whatsoever. This is where they live. Do not feel like you need to upgrade because really you're not going to get the big benefits out of it. This is where I'd be keeping this chart right now. But really guys, as you've seen from this chart, this is like I said, my own opinions here in upgrading. You don't have to follow this, but this is what I think you guys should be doing in my honest own opinion. But it's up to you. If you're happy with the machine that you have, stick with it. But I do also hope that this chart has also helped quite a lot of you guys out if you're considering upgrading and if you're going to do it now. Let me know though in the comments below if it has helped you out. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, you want to hear the list of Apple News reviews and comparison to make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye